Coach, you want to get your statement? Yep. Um, just appreciate you guys coming out. Obviously, I uh, always appreciate our, our fans that were able to make it out. Um, proud of our players. I, I thought, um, you know, we had a slow start in the first five minutes, but thought they really responded, thought we did a good job on the boards. Um, you know, for the most part, I, I thought we did a good job transferring the advantage. There's so much to clean up offensively and defensively. I mean, just a lot to clean up. But I, I've said this all along. This is a really fun group to coach. Um, they show up every day. Uh, they want to learn. They want to make adjustments. Uh, although I think we've improved a lot uh, from a year ago defensively, habits take time to build. And uh, we continue to, to really put a premium on those every day in practice. And so I think when it all comes together for us, it's, it's going to be pretty darn, darn good. But uh, we're, we're well aware we still got a lot of work to do on both ends of the court. But um, I thought Sarah Rose came in and had great minutes for us tonight. Really excited for her. That's a kid that has shown up every day, uh, has been a great teammate, and uh, she just looked really comfortable out there. So that was exciting. Uh, Izzy obviously continues to hit big shots for us. But you know, I think what makes this team um, special is that, well, there's a lot of things, but just speaking sp offensively, um, is that on any given night, you've got a, a, you know, a lot of kids that, that have got some offensive firepower. And you never know uh, who it's going to be on what night. And that allows us to spread the court a little bit more. So certainly a lot of positives, a lot of things we got to get better at. Uh, but we'll take this and, and move forward. Uh, what was that at the five minute mark? Yeah. Well, <laughs> um, probably just challenged them, you know, for more. Uh, you know, we're so much better than what we were playing, and um, I just didn't feel like we were the aggressors. And it was just a gentle reminder that, um, you know, we needed to be who we were and uh, play a little bit more aggressive on both ends. I think that was it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Best start, you know, to the season in quite a few seasons. What, what would you attribute that to? You know, would you attribute to that chemistry that you've been mentioning? Without a doubt. Um, I just am so proud of, you know, this team. And it goes so much further than what happens on that court. It's just been um, the last six months have been um, just it, hard to – Hard to articulate um, the growth that we've had individually uh, and collectively as a team. And um, it, that locker room is, is really special. The, the culture that's in that locker room, the sisterhood that these guys have formed. I think our new players uh, have provided so much energy and passion and work ethic. And our returning players have really grown and embraced and matured. And um, you know, like I've said many times, the last couple of years have been really, really hard on everybody. And I think collectively we've um, you know, just took time to reflect and, and understand what we needed to do moving forward. And, um, you know, not only are they great basketball players, but they're just incredible individuals. They're just a fun, fun group to be around. And um, I don't know. It's fun to go to battle with them every day. You've got a lot of different players involved today, as you kind of mentioned. How valuable is that? Yeah, yeah I think that's huge. And, you know, my only – my only thing with that is I, I hate that we're not always putting them in a position to have success. I mean, the fact that you have to have Sarah, or that we had Sarah and Jayla and Mike out there, I don't think it really gives them a chance to showcase uh, their skills and talents because they're forced to play out of position a little bit. And so, you know, it's it's a catch-22 a little bit because you want to get a minutes. Um, and, and I think when they can get on the court, you know, it's going to help moving forward. But at the same time, you know, it's if you can find a way to, to plug them in uh, so that they can kind of be more in their comfort zone and in their proper rotation would help. But, um, you know, it's... It's uh, a little bit challenging to figure that piece of it out yet uh, because we've got Day continuing to need minutes as she's coming back. And so the rotations have been a little bit tough. But bottom line is, uh, you know, I think any time you get to go that deep into your bench, it's, it's a win-win situation. Rosie, Sarah Rose. Yeah, uh, yeah I just, um, she's a high energy kid. I mean, she's bouncy, she's rangy. Um, she's, she's pretty darn athletic. Um, you know, I think you see that, you know, just her ability to go get rebounds out of position, out of area rebounds. Um, we really haven't worked a lot on that pressure. Um, and so it was kind of trial and error tonight. And we liked what we saw, and so we stayed with it. Um, but she is, uh, 
she just she's long she's rangy she's athletic and you know she's really she's put in the work and i think she's making the most of her minutes right now Yeah, you know, the, probably the biggest growth that I've seen in Izzy is on the defensive end. You know, we knew that she was a high-level scorer. She can score on three levels, uh, high basketball IQ. Um, you know, she can play on the ball, off the ball um, in, in regards to that point off guard position. And so we knew what we were getting offensively. Uh, what we didn't know for sure is how quickly she'd, um, you know, be able to I don't know, embrace the pace of the game, the, the physicality of the game. Uh, and I, I've seen her really grow a lot defensively in the time that she's been here since June. And, and that's because she's a blue collar kid and she's really worked at it. Uh, I think the game is probably a lot faster than what she played in high school. And, um, you know, at first it's like, holy smokes, <laughs> it's coming at you in a hurry. But I think as she's um, kind of settled into, you know, feeling more comfortable uh, with our system and, um, it's gotten a little bit, you know, it's not so foggy up here. It's become a little bit more clear. But the thing that I'm most impressed with is her defense, to be honest with you. I think she really uh, puts it all out there defensively and, and uh, you know, does a really good job for us on the defensive end. Uh, Cindy, obviously, big, big afternoon. Do you feel that a little bit more comfort? <clears throat> yeah, I definitely did. And just to add what she said, it's kind of funny because – I've actually had people from back home say, wow, your defense looks really good. <laughs> <laughs> what a so, thought. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, um, but yeah, can you, re sorry, what was the, what was the question? Did you feel a little bit more comfortable out there tonight? Yeah. Like you're easing into it a bit yeah, definitely felt more comfortable. And I think that just comes from um, my teammates and coaches and like the confidence and trust that they display for me. So. How much time Yeah, definitely a lot. I've, I see, um, you know, Mama, she, she's a phenomenal defender, and that just pushes me to want to, like, get like that. So, yeah. Lauren, when it comes to some of the younger players that we're mentioning, your Mama, Izzy, and mm -hmm. Sarah Rose, too, I mean, how have you, as one of the upperclassmen on this team, have you seen them develop, especially the first four games of the season? Um, I think that... They've just been getting more comfortable. I think that as upperclassmen, like, it's our job to pour confidence into them. And so I just kind of feel like um, just day by day, they're just getting better and better. And it's like, it's exciting to watch because I just feel like it's going to help us down the road. How, how big is it when you see, like, when Izzy comes off the bench and immediately starts scoring against this team? Like, what, what's that like for you? I mean, today Izzy was a huge spark. I mean, she's always a huge spark off the bench. So it's just, it brings a different edge um, than we have on the court. So when she comes on, it's just instant offense. <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned the good start to the season, Lauren. You know, obviously, you're here last year. So, what does it feel different? You know, the start to the season that maybe is compared to last year for you? Um, definitely our chemistry. I feel like we're just more together, and like we don't really care who gets the credit. Just want everyone to do well. We want a mission first, team always is what we say. Um, and it's just kind of like we just want our teammates to do well, and we want to put our goals first. So, I think that's the biggest difference. Yeah, well, the first time we talked about it was at the SLU game, and I thought we came out in that third quarter and played really, really well. Um, obviously, the fourth quarter for us today was a little bit tough. And, um, you know, part of that is we had players playing, you know, just different positions. And so uh, somewhat to be expected. But, um, yeah, I think it's it's huge that we can come out of a halftime and show that we can respond. And, you know, that's that's huge. We want to... Uh, first four minutes of the game, we've got to have an attack mentality. And the first four minutes after halftime, I think, are key, really, to set the tone for the rest of the half. So uh, really proud of their third quarter of the last two games. With, with Mama being a starting lineup the last couple of games, I mean, what did you see from her as she's taking that starting? You know, I think she's a lot more confident and, and comfortable out there. And I think she's starting to understand, you know, strengths and weaknesses uh, in her game and other people's games. And uh, she's just really coachable. I think she feels so much more comfortable this year. Um, and, uh, you know, 
I think she understands the value that she brings to our team and what she can do defensively. Uh, I know I've said this many times, I definitely wouldn't want to bring the ball up the court against her. Uh, she just doesn't go away. And, um, you know, I think that that energy is such a spark for our entire team. And so uh, has really done a great job with that. And then the other area that I've been really impressed with, uh, I'm not sure what she ended up with tonight for assist, but uh, doing a great job getting a piece of the paint and creating shots for other people. And, and she'll knock down her share of them. I know that's a little frustrating for her right now, but she will get to the point where she's knocking those down, um, you know, her fair, fair share of them and make teams pay. But again, five assists tonight and just plays with great pace when she gets two feet in that paint. I think it just stretches the floor because you, you can't like um, get up on one of us and feel like you don't have to guard another. So I just think that um, it just forces the defense to just stretch out and they have to pay attention to everybody. Yeah, and I guess for you and Aiden too, how much does that kind of space help you guys? I know late in the game you're able to really kind of hurt them from outside. Mm, <laughs> um, I think it just makes movement easier. And so like defense can't really target on one person. They have to be able to help off, which creates shots for other people. And we just work well together because um, we have to guard everybody. I think we had our fair share of possessions where the, we just got stuck. They're playing in the gaps, and you feel like you're open, and so you just kind of want to stand for that kick out. And, um, but then we had some possessions, especially in that third quarter, where I really felt like we moved the ball much better. Uh, and that's you know the thing with our motion offense. you got to move the ball, move people, get ball reversals. And we were getting some really good looks in that third quarter. I think, you know, depending upon who we're playing, you know, there's a lot of different lineups you can go with. I think it makes it really hard when you've got a five-man that can stretch the court and you can play five out and you've got slashers. And so I think more than anything, it helps our, our depth. Um, and again, like I said, different games, different matchups, you're going to need different things. But uh, I feel like every game day gets under her belt. She's, she's getting more and more comfortable back into her rhythm. So uh, more than anything, I think it'll help the depth that we have in our rotation. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. Thank you.